Right, um, so I'm with Bert here, and he's been telling me what EasyJet are doing, and this is fascinating stuff, so you've, you've got to listen to this. Okay, so what EasyJet are trying to do is transform the way that we deliver services to passengers in airports. At the moment, if we want to deliver any kind of a service, we do it through a desk, because desks are fundamentally the way airports do things, quite apart from anything else. I can relate to yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're the way that airports charge the airlines. So if we have a, a new idea and we think, wow, we, we, could, we could do this for passengers, the airline, the airport will say, well, you need a desk for that. That'll be, you know, lots of money. Um, so what we want to do is get the services away from the desk because the desk is fundamentally, it's a, a single function with a single point of delivery with a bloody great queue in front of it. And we've all queued at airports. And we've all we queued at airports. That is, yeah. And for us, it's completely counterintuitive because the more we try to do for our customers, the worse the experience gets. The more services we offer, the more queues the passenger has to join to consume which, the which services. Which is ironic, because that feels wrong. It, it is. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. So we've been banging our heads against this problem for about five years, um, you know, because we, there's so much we'd like to do and so little we can do because of the way airports are kind of locked down for us. So um, Azure has come along, and it's unlocked a really key part of the puzzle, which is... How do we, if, if we want to get our services away from the desks and away from the restrictive airport technology, how can we have a platform that will deliver the services into the airport, bypassing that platform? Right. So we have our own platform, which we're working on now, called Halo. Um, and it is fundamentally a wireless technology delivered on mobile devices, Windows mobile devices. Um, and at the back end, there are our business services based on WCF. And in the middle of it all, acting as a relay is the Azure service bus. Um, and it, it's that really that's, that's unlocked a major part of this problem, which is how do we get our business services from the back end onto a device in an airport without having to go through that very, very narrow channel that the airport provide. So this would change my experience? We, really, we, we sincerely believe so. We think it will change the experience of passengers. We think it will enable us to offer a much richer set of much more personalised services within the airport. Um, and yes, it, you know, it's going to open up new, new streams of revenue for us as well. But ultimately, um, we will be able to do all of the things that we do now, but on one device in any location. So there won't be that formal, rigid, move from here to here no, to here. No, there's, yeah, and it will get rid of the, 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 that awful experience passengers get. They turn up at an airport, they queue for 20 minutes and find out they've queued at the wrong place. Or they haven't got that one thing that they need to complete that transaction. And they've got to go off and join another queue. And when they finish there, they come back and join the same queue again. Uh, all of that, that awful stuff, we're, we're, just, we're, gonna, we're gonna take all that away. And so while you're queuing to put your bag on a conveyor belt, I can check you in and print a boarding pass and provide you with any other services you need in a very personalized way because I'm linked to my back-end CRM right. uh, and I know all about you and your travel needs. Um, and, and we think that this is going to make a real difference. This is going to be a real key differentiator for us. And um, queuing, yeah, is, it proves that flying and stuff like that isn't as glamorous. No, it isn't. People it isn't. Have it believe, um, it's the, it is the great leveler having to stand in line. Um, and queuing at the moment is used by a lot of airlines as a differentiator. They have these fast tracks for the, for the, uh, the premium travelers so they don't have to queue as much. Um, but we are not, you know, we don't do that kind of premium travel thing. Um, so we can't use, we can't leverage queuing in that way. So we're thinking, hell, let's just get rid of it. This is democratizing. It that. is, <laughs> absolutely. It's what EasyJet's always been about. Okay, so a bit of background on the Halo platform um, and what it's made up of. Um, obviously, at, at the bottom, we've got our European network of airports. Um, and over the top of this, we are constructing a secure private communications network with the internet as the backbone and with local airtime providers uh, providing wireless access points. And to those access points, we want to attach all of our handheld mobile devices that are going to serve services to the customer in the airport. And those will be controlled and managed and secured via device management framework. And those three layers make up the Halo platform. Now, once we've got that platform in place, the tricky bit is getting the business services that we currently have out onto that platform so they can be consumed. So these business services already exist. They're Windows Communications Foundation services. They're bound onto our enterprise service bus in our SOA architecture at EasyJet in our on-premises data center. And the great thing about Azure and the service bus in particular is that with little more than a configuration change, I can take those same services and I can bind them directly out onto the bus. And once they're there, I have the same paradigms there that I have 
in my enterprise service bus. I have messaging, I've got the event model so I can do pub sub, and I've got data synchronization. So to, to cap that off, all I need to add is my application layer, where I've got suites of applications that consume the services on the devices and serve that functionality, functionality up to our customers and to our staff in airports.